Hi, my name is Dr Helen Taylor and I'm the Conservation Programme Manager at the Royal Zoological Society of Scotland and we are the charity that leads Edinburgh Zoo and Highland Wildlife Park. If you'd asked me what I wanted to do as a job when I was younger, I would probably have told you I wanted to be David Attenborough. So I've always been fascinated by natural history and the species that we share our planet with, but it was only as I got older and went through my studies, through my degree programme, through my masters, that I started to understand the trouble that the planet was in and the fact that I really wanted to do something with my career that it would at least play a small part in trying to address some of the challenges we're facing as a planet. And that's when I started to get into conservation science. There are two things I wish that people knew about my job. One is that not all scientists wear white coats, so I am a scientist, I have a PhD, uh, but most of the time I spend out in the field, in the forest, uh, on different lochs, and I'm wearing outdoor gear. I'm dressed kind of a bit like this. So that's number one. And number two, I wish that people understood more about the role that zoological organisations play in conservation. So yes, our ZSS happens to lead two zoos, but we also have 23 conservation projects out in the wild both here in the UK and all over the world and so that's a really good example of how people like me who work for a zoological charity can also be out in the wild doing conservation on the ground. My favourite thing about my job is the fact that I get to be outside a lot. So I am never happier than when I'm in the outdoors and I'm very lucky to be working in Scotland where we have some amazing scenery, great forests, lochs, mountains, hills and I am very fortunate that as part of my job I actually get to be out there experiencing that. Another nice thing about my job is that it's really varied. So yes, I can be out in the field working in the wild. I can also be working really closely with our conservation genetics team here because we have the UK's only zoo-based conservation genetics lab. That's really important for some of our conservation programmes. I might be chatting to the vets about animal health. I might be up at Highland Wildlife Park talking to the keepers about our conservation breeding programme for pine hoverfly. Or I might just be in the office making some calls, doing some Zoom meetings at the moment uh, with all of our partners who help us make our conservation projects possible. The future I hope for for our planet and all who call it home is a sustainable one. It's very clear that the way we live right now is not sustainable and we're going to need to make some big changes if we want to move forward in the future in a healthy way. Um, but there are some amazing innovations happening and I haven't lost hope. I am hopeful that we can make those changes um, and that is what I would like to see happen so that we're here long after I'm gone. We need to take action on climate change now because it's very clear from all the scientific data we have that climate change is real, it's happening and it's causing serious problems all across the globe. From extreme weather events to species extinctions to changes in food production, this is something that's going to affect us all. And it's something that we can all do something about. So yes, we need big companies and big organisations innovating to solve these problems, but we can also make small changes in our lives in terms of how we eat, how we use energy, how we dispose of our waste that can all go towards helping make sure that we do have a sustainable future on this planet. Uh, in three words, the future I would like to see for us is clean, green and sustainable.